Mitch Hansor's 960 another collection video. So this is awesome. I haven't done a collection video in months and months and months. Um, it's been a long time, maybe six months since my last collection video, maybe even more. Um, but just, I, I just, I haven't done one in a long time. What would actually happen is, um, I'd want to do one, but I'd have like something coming on eBay or I'd want to get something before I did it. And then once I got that thing, I was like, oh, just let me get this or let, let this come in from eBay and then I'll do one. So I just kept delaying and delaying and delaying. And finally I decided that I want to put up some new shelves. So I was like, okay, let me put up some new shelves before I did my collection video. Put up the shelves, uh, put all the stuff on the shelves, and now we are at a collection video. So so here you go. So this is where I start off all my videos um, for my uh, reviews and stuff. Here it is. Uh, it's just a normal shelf. What I used to have here in this whole wall, I used to have um, kind of a light brown um, bookshelf with four uh, with, with four shelves and then the roof of the whole bookcase. And uh, that's where I used to put figures. But since I want to replace that and um, do something different, I took the whole bookshelf out and I replaced it with individual shelves which um, are about an inch wider and longer. So a little bit more room, but basically no more new room, just a bit. Uh, it's just really for... um showing uh, for uh, to making it look better so here you go so on this shelf uh, it's very not too much um, all I have here is Lone Hall Mixmaster and the Dark of the Moon Barricade um, just because it, it's easier to clear off for me to do reviews and also when I get more Decepticons from the Dark of the Moon toy line as soon as they start bringing more out I'll be able to fill this up I plan on putting my three sound waves here as soon as they are released so yeah so then when you go down a shelf you get a uh, this shelf it's kind of crowded with a mixture of Transformers what it is is um you've got a lot of movie one Decepticons, a couple movie two Decepticons, and just three concept series. Uh, so just really scattered a bunch of uh, things, a um, bunch of Decepticons from different movies and stuff. So yeah. So then you come up here, got this obviously, and then we come up here where we have my movie two. Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, Autobots. As you can see here, the sidearm sideswipe, the regular sideswipe, Etna 1, RC, Chromia, Hunter the Septicon, Bumblebee, Dark of the Moon, Legend, or Legion, um, sideswipe. Just, I wanted to keep the sideswipes together because they look kind of cool. The Ice Cream Edition, Skids and Mudflap, the real Movie 2, uh, Skids and Mudflap, the Dark of the Moon concept series, Jolt, the Revenge of the Fallen Jolt, Revenge of the, well, uh, Nest series, um, Ratchet, and the uh, Hunt for the Septicons Deluxe Ironhide, and the Voyager Hunt for the Septicons. So there you go. So it's just a little Autobot shelf, all kind of uh, the smaller versions of the original, the Deluxe Ratchet and Ironhide, and the Voyager Prime. Up here, I don't have anything. At first, up here, I put all of my uh, Optimus Primes, and I had an Optimus Prime shelf, but then I decided that that was kind of a waste of room because I really didn't have many Optimus Primes. So I just decided to um, leave this shelf for Transformers Prime. I'm just waiting for that new television of toys to come out. Should be out next month or the next month. Not sure. Either December or January. Somewhere around there. Just two in package. Uh, Hunt for the Septicon, Sea Attack Ravage, and Ironhide. Um, I do have room here that I can hang up some toys. I think I'm going to hang up um, like that uh, in package variant of Doctor Strange and the all the the couple in package toys that I have all create a line there and then we come over here this uh, you know, on this wall I didn't have anything this wall I just used to uh, hang up uh, my shirts and uh, now that's gone I'm, I'm using my the hall closet for my clothes now which is kind of funny um, I'm just uh, I put in new shelves on this wall so this is all new space which is nice and this is my Green Lantern kind of shelf here so very cool and I uh, do have a big space here for the Build-A-Figure Parallax as soon as the last two figures come out and room for one more Movie Masters. Just to let you guys know, for you uh, Green Lantern fans, I did spot the the guru, this guy, the purple guy in the back there, I did spot him in the 3 and 3 quarter inch version. I thought about buying him and then decided not to. Kind of regretted that decision because he looked okay. Um, but they are out in retail, at least that one place that I found it, so they should be start to its uh, store soon. Um, and then over here I have my Clone Wars things, obviously very many. The two Savages, awesome, love them, and uh, 
bunch of Clone Wars figures love the Clone Wars and uh, so yeah but when I put this parallax up this parallax arm up here was way down looking like it was attacking the the Clone Wars uh, people from the other shelf but what I did here is uh, I just stuck a, a little part of an eraser in his like armpit which raised his arm a lot higher so didn't have that problem just so you guys know and then when you come back to the shelf you go down here we have a bit of a just regular Star Wars Saga Legends um this is not how this shelf is going to stay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the smaller figures and put down and put my Walmart exclusive job of the hut as soon as it comes here. I'm, it's coming from eBay right now, and uh, I'm going to kind of make it as Jabba's throne as soon as I get some more Jabba figures. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with this shelf, but for right now I just have my Transformers Prime. Uh, this is a big shelf. This shelf is actually bigger than the one up there. It's a lot longer. Um, I just I really didn't know what to put up here. I had these guys, and considering. I'm not gonna buy any more because the toy line's over. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that shelf, so don't know. So now we come way back over here. We have a bunch of Decepticons from all three movies and everything. That's my big Decepticon shelf. Very nice. And over here we have my Autobot shelf from Dark of the Moon. As you can see, all the Autobots. My uh, th I did have the shelf before, but it only went to about right. Uh, oops. Let's see here. Right here. This is about where it cut off. So what I did is I took the shelf out and I just replaced it with a lot longer one that uh, went across the entire uh, room and um, this the shelf that I took down I'll show you it is still in here it's just in a different place but here you go yeah the ult um, ultimate Optimus Prime I had on the shelf that was empty so I decided just to move it because I had a lot of extra space so very cool so now we come down here to my main movie and just Marvel everything so we have all my Iron Man figures very cool all my Captain America figures all my Thor figures with the Loki and LaFay, very happy to have them. Uh, so very cool. A little bit of Spider-Man and kind of miscellaneous um, Marvel Universe figures. That uh, Taskmaster, he's having a horrible time standing, so I'm propping him up on his cape, um, unfortunately. So yeah, the huge uh, Sentinel and the Galactus figures, very nice. And all my Marvel Universe stuff with one Thanos hanging on the wall, so very cool. So yeah, so now one more shelf. You can kind of see it under here. Um, let me just lower this so I can get down lower. Okay. So there it is. So this is just this is the shelf that was way up here. Um, up here, I just moved it and put it down here, and uh, it's just some kind of miscellaneous stuff from uh, toy lines that um, I don't usually put on shelves, but I just decided to. Got some Pirates of the Caribbean, Davy Jones's crew. You have a little Tron in the middle, and you have um, real steel over there, which is kind of neat. Really hoping for Wave Two. I have plenty of space for it, but it's starting to seem like Wave Two isn't coming, unfortunately. So there you go. So um, so this is just a uh, my toy collecting room. I guess you can say this is just a this is actually in my closet. This is all in my closet. So there you go. So just to go over everything. Very happy with my new shelves. Um, last time I put up uh, new shelves, you guys asked me where I got them, and um, I got the I get all my new shelves and brackets and everything for it at uh, uh, Home Depot. So just so you guys know. Um, the shelves are pretty cheap. It's just the brackets that are a bit much. All the new shelves and everything that I did cost me just a bit over a hundred dollars. So there you go. So kind of my renovations to my closet. There is my collection video. Just trying to give you a grand scheme of at least a portion of it. So there you go. There's that's as much as I can get in. So very cool. Well, let's let's see how far back I can do this. Oh look at this. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm way into my room, though. Okay, so there you go. So that's my uh, little collection space. And um, that's my new uh, collection video. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers. Just reached 500. Re -appre really appreciate it. And uh, thanks so much. Keep watching, and reviews will keep coming out. Thanks so much.